when we do good, we feel good. And when we think good, we feel better. But when we look good, we definitely feel amazing. Tune in to this episode to uncover the secrets behind feeling and looking your best. Personal styling is very, very important. So when I see, say I'm here to help you, I'm not here to change you, but I'm here to bring best out of you. I really believe that there's no ch- need to change anybody because if you go and change somebody, they will become something else which they are not. And it's even worse. Right. Be presentable. And presentable doesn't mean you have to apply three kgs of makeup. No. If you don't like makeup, you don't have to apply makeup. But you have to be presentable. There are many ways to present yourself according to your personality, your choices, your body type, your torso. Everything is different according to the person. Welcome to Beyond Her Story Only on Wonder Woman Wednesday, where today we are going to explore the intersection of fashion, wellness, and personal empowerment with the multi-talented Volga. A stylist, wardrobe consultant, an image consultant, fashion designer from NIFT, internationally certified face yoga trainer, and a corporate trainer, Volga embodies the spirit of transformation with hash transform with Volga. Get ready for this conversation with Volga and learn how to create a lasting impression through the power of presentation. Plus, stay tuned until the end of the episode for some useful tricks and a special surprise that you don't want to miss. Welcome, Volga, to Beyond Her Story. I'm really excited to have this conversation because I'm hoping, you know, I'll learn some tricks and trades of presentation from you. Hi, Asneha. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, Yes, I'll make sure that you take a lot of tips and tricks about image consulting, presentation and many more things. Yeah, so I think let's get started right away. So each one of us go into, you know, diverse fields. And, you know, I'm always curious to figure out how did it all start? So my first question is normally about what is it that sparked your passion for fashion and image consulting? And how did your journey begin, Volga? Well, uh, I started my journey with the aviation industry. So that's a long story. (laughs) Let's keep it for some other time. So um, I was really fascinated about every aspect of fashion. Mm -hmm. And when I started doing it and I saw the confidence in people after getting the makeover or after getting uh, the courses done and everything, I was immensely happy with the job I have done and the kind of job satisfaction I was always looking for. Here it was. That day I decided this is the thing made for me and I started to do this. Wow. Uh, so before aviation, were you inclined towards this or it was only after? Yes, you got- it was always, always in back in uh, my mind. Oh, wow. That's really amazing. Thank so, you. you know, since you've been in this industry for quite a long time, why is personal presentation so important and how is it that you help individuals craft their unique style? Uh, Sneha, see, uh, Personal styling is very, very important. So when I see, say I'm here to help you, I'm not here to change you, but I'm here to bring best out of you. Oh, wow. You already have what you need. It's just that sometimes we don't recognize what we have. Yes. For an example, maybe you are too much into white clothing and it looks very good on you, but maybe you don't know how to layer it. Yes. And that can make a lot of you know good changes in you. Yeah. So presentation is very important. As we all know, when we walk through that door, we always make that first impression. And trust me, it does. Yeah. We might say, be yourself, this, that. But yeah, no, you have to present yourself in the best way. Correct. Maybe you are best at your work, but you have to be presentable as well. Yeah. Just to support your hard work. Yes. And I think you put it very beautifully, Volga, uh, uh, like, you know, that you bring the best of what, People already have. Already I, have. I think that's there's amazing. no need to change anybody. I really believe that there's no ch- need to change anybody because if you go and change somebody, they will become something else which they are not, and it's even worse. Right. Yeah, I think this this really makes sense. And uh, uh, let's move on to the next question because you know you have so many. You're so multi talented. You have so many certifications and credits. So 
let's move on to the second thing which is currently trending a lot especially on instagram face yoga yeah. so can you tell us like how is it that face yoga contributes to the overall well being and maybe you know uh, walk us over what it is actually so face yoga it's nothing it's just like face fitness just like your body your face also needs some kind of fitness and you must have heard of term runner's face you'll get those lines smile lines and saggy skin if you work out too much you'll lose weight okay maintain, to maintain that and overall to maintain your skin with the age after 30 you start uh, getting those fine lines and wrinkles and everything that all can be taken care and you can age gracefully with the face yoga earlier i used to think that yeah does it work but when i started doing it when i started practicing it when i started teaching it then i realized how amazing it is it yeah. transforms your face within one or two months and you can see that in a glow it comes from within okay yeah and uh, uh, are these something that has to be done every day like how you do your exercise yes. and yoga consistency is the key okay face fitness Okay. Yeah, consistency is very very important. Maybe you give only five minutes, but consistency is the key. Okay. More coming up in this conversation with Polka. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more such empowering content. So, uh, presentation, face yoga, and I know that you're also a corporate trainer. So, yeah. in your experience as a corporate trainer, how does enhancing one's image actually impact their professional success, Polka? yes uh, as i said uh, presentation is very important because it makes statement when you walk through that door let's say for an interview mm-hmm. or for a client meeting or whatever first thing what everybody notices is whenever you are walking in how you are looking yeah. how you have presented yourself and i don't know if you can agree with me when you are presentable and if you are professionally dressed up people take you seriously yes so in my experience i have seen this and that's why i always suggest be presentable and presentable doesn't mean you have to apply 3 kg of makeup no if you don't like makeup you don't have to apply makeup but you have to be presentable there are many ways to present yourself according to your personality your choices your body type your torso everything is different according to the person yeah individual yeah so in it's very 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 important how you put yourself out there okay so as a part of corporate training like what are the things that you normally cover over so we do power dressing okay and then uh, we we'll teach people how to exercise in office you can't over exercise correct yeah. how to keep it minimal yet very very classy and uh, you know effective okay so we teach that and uh, we uh, do little makeup sessions we can't uh, apply very heavy makeup but yeah like Basically. if your face is blank it doesn't look very appealing so okay. little bit of color here and there okay. will help. yeah so we teach that and hair do's also we teach oh okay that's a quite a comprehensive training actually <laughs> yeah so basically training goes up to 3 to 4 days minimum for any corporate sector yeah oh, wow yeah because it takes so uh, different different segments so it okay. takes 3 uh, to 4 days okay and one thing i think that is again important like you said presentation and you know when you go into a room the way you uh, present yourself is important and when you you know when you are well dressed you also get that additional boost of confidence i think right absolutely which is very very important like when you i always say you know when you look good you feel good <laughs> kind exactly of. that's the mantra when you look good and when you see yourself in mirror that women says well done yeah. and that confidence goes a long whole day and for an example when you go out even a small kid a girl will compliment you that will make your day correct yeah and you feel that energy whole day in your you know day to day life it's very very important how you present yourself yeah and it i will add one more uh, yeah. thing that if you are very clumsy and not done anything you have not made your hair properly and your nails are chap lips are chap it shows that you are very lazy <laughs> true true yeah so that's yeah, i think so Yeah. like you know one of the aspects for women since you know we are wonder woman women's day we always talk about one aspect of women and women actually put lot of things on priority other than self care 
Yes, self love is very very important. And image consulting and following image consulting or getting any help is a proof that you love yourself. And yes. self love is the most important thing in today's life. Correct. Yeah. So, how does integrating, you know, fashion, wellness, personal branding empower women? I think we have spoken about it, but uh, maybe we can just add a bit more about how it actually empowers women in their uh, not just professional lives but also personal lives as well. Uh, first, it will impact your personal life. People will start seeing that small, small changes in you, and you're looking uh, happier, brighter, and you know you're more energetic. And it's just coming from that mirror, because yeah. you're conveying that self love to yourself. Yes, I'm looking very good. I'm the best. Yeah. And that confidence changes everything in uh, your pro professional life, personal life, and say if you have a girl gang in that gang, you get that stand. So you you'll see you'll feel the change and that positivity comes from and uh, from different different areas and people and success everything everything will be changed all of a sudden you'll feel that energy Correct. and positiveness about your own self which yeah. you're lagging behind and putting it for some other day <laughs> yeah time to start today. <laughs> I completely agree because uh, even you know when I started off with the podcast I used to be like uh, my regular self and you know not take much care about it but I realized that you know when you put a little bit effort to make it more presentable it makes a lot of difference in the way you speak and in the way you present yourself in everything actually like you rightly said right yeah so I completely yeah. agree with what you're saying yeah, yeah. so Volga you know uh, you might have uh, done image consulting for a lot of people so yes. are there any stories which have made you you know yes this is what I wanted to do and I'm so happy doing it. Yeah, in starting in my introduction only, I told you I'm doing this because it gives me job satisfaction like anything. I'm very happy to be here. And uh, I really feel that this is the best thing I can do. Okay. So yeah, I have a lot of uh, stories to share, but we can't share all of them. So I'll just share one small story. Yeah. So there was this lady, a very successful, professionally very successful lady. But again, she was suffering with low self-confidence and she did not know how to dress up. And she was uh, new in makeup. She was not very, uh, you know, keen to do makeup. She was like, my skin will get spoiled and everything. So first thing first, I taught her how makeup will not spoil your skin. Okay. First, this concept, to make this concept very clear, that makeup doesn't ruin your skin. It's a beautiful art to give three-dimensional effect to your face and change the whole outlook of your personality. Yeah. But there's a right way to do it. If you don't do it right way, obviously it's going to screw your skin. Yeah. So right way to do it, hydration is the most important thing. Preparing your skin before makeup is very important. And at the end of the day, no matter how tired you are, or how busy you are or how upset you are and you just want to get into your bed and cry, please remove your makeup and then cry. <laughs> okay. It's so important. Yeah. It is so important. I would say this is the most important thing you can do. Okay. To treat your skin or give treat or just to have mercy on your skin. Just yeah. remove. And when I say makeup, it's not like foundation, lipstick, kajal, contouring and everything. No. If you're applying SPF, then also you have to do it. And cleansing is not only one thing. Cleansing is double cleansing. First, you clean your face with any cleansing balm, oil or anything. And then with whatever you use as cleanser. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this two step is very, very important. And I always say, no matter how, what kind of mood you are in, just do this and then prepare for your next action. Yeah. Yeah. Your skin will bless you. Okay. You'll never get breakouts. Okay. Your pores will not get clogged. Next day, your makeup will look very neat. Oh, it's like, yeah. And I was talking about this lady. She yeah. did not know this concept. Okay. Okay. She never used to wash her face in the night. Ooh. She just used to go to bed. And then she had all the breakouts and then marks of acne. When she started doing this, she started seeing the visible results. Okay. Scars came down. Breakouts were less. Makeup was like clean properly. Next day, makeup was looking good. When I taught her how to do makeup, yeah. I taught her the basics. I taught her both, but she used to do basic because she was in kind of profession. She yeah. can't do much. Okay. And her dressing. 
the concept of dressing in a modern way is not skin show that is also one concept people don't know you can look as beautiful as elegant as you know yourself in whatever you like to wear okay it's, it can be sari it can be skirt it can be mini skirt it can be shorts whatever you like whatever is your personality yeah teach also how to dress up in office and how to turn into party wear in evening without changing the whole attire oh okay so just like layering or changing here and there and how to do it okay so i taught her that when she started socializing going to parties people started noticing her changes and she was so happy i got handwritten letter from her husband saying thank you because he was very happy and he was the one who motivated her to go and take image consulting wow and she is That's very confident very happy now yeah i hope to do few more transformations like this and you know get that satisfaction <laughs> yeah i think the story was really you know inspiring and uh, i think maybe if men also watch this episode they should convince their exactly, <laughs> spouses, exactly. Sisters, and moms to you know yeah and it's not only about women men should also do all these uh, you know practices in their skin care and everything every uh, 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 workshop in every training in every one on one i say this these two three things first okay so remove your makeup don't wipe your face with your body towel and then apply spf every day holy grail oh, yeah i'm very happy to give these tips and tricks uh, i want people to improve you know look good feel good be confident be happy most important thing be happy so uh, i mean good to so good to know about the different things you are doing and uh, you know our viewers would definitely be interested for a few tips from your end and which is why you know i've kept these things at the end you know to keep it as a surprise So Volga for uh, people who are just starting makeup is there any simple everyday makeup routine that anyone can follow Yeah so Sneha I'll start with a uh, skin care before you apply any makeup on your face make sure that your skin is clear okay clear and it's not damaging your skin so the best thing you can start with is your spf spf as in your sunscreen and it should be 50 plus okay so everyday skin care a uh, sunscreen is like holy grail okay you start with this and see within 10 20 days what your skin will show you okay. because uv rays are very dangerous for your skin it will make you age faster look older dehydrated pigmented melasma everything you'll get if you are not using spf okay. and spf means it's not that you have applied spf at 8 am in the morning and you forgot about it no every 3 hours you have to apply if you are out if you are at home it's fine Okay. If you are out and if you are using too much of screen, then also make sure you apply your sunscreen. If you are not very happy with that creamy textures these days, market is filled with sticks. Yeah. It's very convenient to apply. Okay. Over your makeup as well. Okay. So that's my first and the most important tip for every women, men, kids, everybody. <laughs> okay. So these are the skin tips. Is there anything any? Yeah. Ah, uh, like if you are a beginner mm -hmm. and if you don't know anything about makeup. so you must be knowing moisturizing yes okay. after moisturizing you should put any tinted spf you don't need foundation tinted will give you that foundation look and on top of that what will get blended with your face your brows okay so it's very important to you know give some color to your brows whatever is your eyeball color is your eyebrows color oh okay maybe brown or black for indian skin tone okay. yeah okay. Okay. so you can put little color and try to shape it up and make sure that you keep it in proper shape and second tip would be you can just tight line and what is tight line now tight line is nothing but coloring your upper water line with black kajal okay. just that okay and a tinted spf lip balm and you're done okay oh, wow. if you're a beginner and if you don't like makeup and if you think it's too much of mess or hassle just start with this and see how much difference it will create in your face now coming back to your next passion the face yoga so is there any one exercise that you know we can do every day that will make our face maybe better or something yeah sure uh, so blood circulation is very important for your overall body it's very important as well as for face so what you can do when you wake up just drink two glasses of warm water if possible okay. and then start you have to keep your two fingers here fill your mouth with air okay. start tapping 
that should not be harsh it should be gentle okay do it one to two minutes and you're done your blood circulation will improve if you have acne it will reduce and you'll okay. see a lot of changes slowly it, it's just a Basic. you know beginning basic exercise you start with this and see the changes then you'll get more excited about it and you would want to know more about it <laughs> yeah so what we will do is we'll leave all your links in the description so people can reach out to you because you know until people watch certain things see certain things they, we are not even aware that we have to do certain things right it's like you've got so much into your daily routine that we don't realize that you know one single step can maybe make a lot of difference so i'm sure you know a lot of people will reach out to you to know more about all of these the image consulting the face yoga and uh, uh anything else that you do corporate training and yeah i think uh, yeah the uh, styling styling or styling. styling so is is it one on one styling golga yeah one 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 on one i do groups as well okay and corporates as well okay yeah. so we leave all links and you know people can reach out to you because i'm sure you'll have plenty of more tips and uh, you know, people will definitely benefit from that yeah so, when you come to me i make sure that i guarantee you you'll walk out of the door very happy full of confidence and you know you will take best out of yourself and go from here with a happy heart <laughs> so good so good and you know uh, like i said when you look good you feel good so definitely you know we should reach out more people should reach out and thank you so much for your time and for all your insights and tips and uh, tricks uh, you know i am very excited to start on a few of them which i didn't know before <laughs> so thank you so much olga for this yeah thank you so much sneha for inviting me and i'm very happy to share my experience and tips and tricks and i am always looking forward to do this uh, more often yeah <laughs> because i want people to hear this out no matter if they are coming to me or not but i want them to implement these small things in their life and see the change and feel very good about it because i'm really concerned about women not taking care of themselves Enough. and that self love has lost somewhere yeah very so, true yeah so i would like to do this more often <laughs> sure thank you thank you volga thank you so much sneha This conversation has taught us that transformation is not just about changing how you look but about how you feel and how you present yourself. So thank you for joining us on Wonder Woman Wednesday. We like to bring content that helps you learn, feel better and get empowered. And your support is what gets us going. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, stay inspired and keep striving to be your best self. Thank you and bye-bye.